Welcome back to Alexis AI. Today, I'm going to show you how to drop a link and boom, AI turns it into a scroll stopping reel in seconds. Dive into hands-on lessons designed to elevate your skills and transform your projects. So let's get started. Head on over to pipit.capcut.com. Once you get there, choose how to log in. I chose my Google account. Once you're done answering a few questions, it will take you over to the homepage. On the homepage, I want you to go ahead and click on where it says marketing video. Okay, so now this is the part where you need to go ahead and copy that URL to any product you want to uh, advertise for or create social media videos for. It can even be your YouTube channel, which is what I chose. So go ahead and copy that link now and paste it in the box and click on generate. Keep note, it tells you how many credits you have left and it gives you a lot to get started. You can also upload your own media rather than the link if that's all you have, no problem at all. Okay, so once you have clicked that generate button, you see that there is some media loading. It does take a little bit and sometimes as you can see, some of the media fails. Even if you click retry a couple of times, no problem at all. All you need to do is click on see all and you can edit which media you want to include and which you want to get rid of. As you can also see, uh, when you're in that expanded media um, window, uh, some of the media it recommends through AI is not exactly in line with what um, you may be selling or what your product is. So feel free to just untick those boxes of what you do not want and look for things you do want. Once you're sure with your media choices, just press that black confirm button in the bottom right. Now, before we see the semi-finished results, I want to show you another option. So instead of clicking generate with your link right off the bat, if you just scroll down a bit on the page, you will see that they actually have um, some inspiration. So just take a look at all those amazing options there that have already been created because you can actually use those and tailor them to your own product as well. So you've got the image inspiration and you've also got the trending on TikTok. So just have a look through there as well because there are a lot more colorful examples. Um, and yeah, just depending on what your product is, they might speak to you more. So if you do go this route, you can do something like this. I like the Lego one, so I just clicked on this one, even though this is just the static image. Um, and then you can just customize it there in that bottom uh, box. So you can say like uh, what you want it to say instead, or if you want to ch change out anything like the background, for example, uh, and click generate there. And then it takes you to a little editing page where you can um, make additional changes if you would like. Okay, let's see those results from before. Ready? Here we go. So of course, like we've seen in the other um, avatar generation videos, the lip sync is not the same as in the final version. So just keep that in mind as well. So similar to what we saw in uh, the Hey Gen tutorial, uh, we've got a few different choices here and they are labeled and they're all a little bit different, but you can see they have the media that you chose, uh, different avatar choices and different styles. So let's have a listen to one. Of artificial intelligence with Alexis AI's comprehensive tutorials. Dive into hands-on lessons so as I usually recommend, have a look through each of those and see which one uh, fits the style of your brand or yourself or um, is closest because you can go ahead and edit them as well. So keep that in mind. So just look through each and see which one appeals to you most. So we've got a few different ones, different avatars, um, some monochromatic, some more colorful, got that standard influencer um, type. So many different choices here. 
Okay, so once you've chosen one that you like, go ahead and click on that little pencil right underneath it, and that's going to take you to the quick edit menu. So once the menu loads, you can go ahead and change your script if you like. Um, you can change the language, as you can see. So anything that doesn't really appeal to your brand, just chop and change it here. No worries at all. Um, and you can also go ahead and click on that avatar button and you can choose. Um, I like that they've got lots of uh, drop down menus. So again, you can just sort through easily um, which gender, age group, um, which industry. That's kind of cool. Even the outfits and poses. Also very cool. My favorite tool on this page is actually, you see that little um, undo button next to edit more, undo and redo? That's my favorite because if you choose an avatar and you don't really like that avatar, you can just undo them really easily. And yeah, I'm just so excited to see an undo button. So yeah, go ahead and play around with the different avatars and look for one that you like best. I did find the little sidebars very tiny and hard to scroll down on, but uh, yeah, once you get a hold of them, you can scroll down or use um, the arrows on your keyboard, no problem at all. Um, you can also add your own avatar. Um, you can change the voices, upload your own voice as well. Um, I wouldn't recommend uploading your own voice unless you really want to because the results did sound quite robotic for me. But again, totally your choice. Try it out. See how it goes for you. Maybe you don't mind or maybe your voice doesn't sound as robotic. Um, if you click on that text button, you can also change the on-screen text as it appears. So you can just click on each and write what you would like to change and it automatically updates. Once again, I found moving the elements quite sticky and I don't know if this is just across all of these uh, um, rapid fire creation uh, websites, but um, yeah, I did find it a little bit hard to move those elements uh, compared to something like Canvas. Also, another side note, if you do add your own avatar, just keep in mind that you can only upload the photo avatar. They do not have the free version uh, of the video avatar, which of course is more lifelike. So also keep that in mind if you're adding in your own avatar. Now you can preview all those changes that you've made um, just by clicking that play button under um, the, the preview window. And if you're happy with everything that you've seen and heard, you can go ahead and you see that button where it says um, export video, you can click on that. Or if you need to make more changes, you can go ahead and click on the button on the left hand side of that that says edit more. This now takes you to um, the regular editing page where you have many more choices to choose from. It is here you can um, add a lot of different elements. You have a choice of larger, uh, a larger choice of avatars if you want. I like that you can choose different um, uh, text styles and this is really cool. And uh, yeah, just go ahead and have a play here. Tons of different uh, elements to choose from, like I said, different audio. Um, you can upload more media if you like. You can play with the timeline below and where everything is located. That part can get a little tricky, so I am going to warn you on that part. Uh, moving elements and things like that. So just be careful uh, with that because it does affect the whole timing of everything. So if you know what you're doing, go ahead. If you are still a newbie to all this, proceed with caution. You can even um, go ahead and, and further change the text if you want, change the color, the background fill by clicking on the words themselves. And uh, you'll just see this um, text basic um, little side bubble pop up. So have a look there and you can make some changes there if you want, or if not, again, customization is totally up to you. I always tell people just go ahead and have a play. If you make mistakes, don't worry because that's how you're going to remember, right? So, you know, go wild here if it's your first time. And uh, they have an example um, video that you can use as well. 
uh, when you first sign in, you can click on where it says um, test URL and maybe and that way you're not using any of your credits when you go ahead and have this uh, exploratory time. Um, but again, if you know what you're doing, then just go ahead and, you know, head down, zoom in, do what you need to do. I also like that it gives you this little preview of the animations for the text as well. That's helpful. Sometimes I have no idea what, uh, you know, a flip vertebration means. So always good to see that. Okay, so once you've previewed all those changes you've made, go ahead to the top right hand corner and click on that export button. And you can publish directly um, to Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, or you can download. I chose to download um, just because I like to have a look at it once it's fully downloaded first before I post it, but up to you what you need to do. And the great thing here is that for on now, there's no watermark choice. So you can actually have it without a watermark completely free, um, which is really cool. As you know, in HeyGen, we can do that. Um, so I really appreciated that option. Okay, so let's take a look at the finished product. Unlock the power of artificial intelligence with Alexis AI's comprehensive tutorials. Dive into hands-on lessons designed to elevate your skills and transform your projects. With step-by-step -step guidance, you will master the essentials of the newest AI tools, ensuring your success in the tech landscape. Not too bad. All right, so let's look at what worked well with this new tool from Pipit. It was really easy to get started. There are pop-up guides and you get loads of free credits, which I loved. I like that it auto describes your product and auto generates media for you. Of course, you can add on to this if you want. I like that it creates a custom avatar for you from a photo if you would like that option. It has both a quick edit and a full editor mode for those that are really wanting to customize uh, every little thing about that video. It also, I love, love, love the undo and redo button. Oh my God, it is so necessary. And I like that it auto generates quite a few different video templates. Um, as you could see in my example, there were eight, but when I tried again, there were 11. So I'm not sure if that's just based on what your product is or not, but there are quite a few choices uh, to choose from. And this is also amazing. No watermark on the page currently. This might change in the future, but take advantage while you can. And I like that you can also have the option to record your voice directly from the page. You don't need to do it in different steps. You can do it right there and then. Um, that being said, let's look at some of the things that might need improving. All right, so areas for improvement. If you create your own voice, um, it actually changes it to a little robotic sounding. So be careful with that option. If you want to add in your own avatar, you can, but the video avatar creation is only available with the paid plan. As we saw with the HeyGen and we see with the Pipit version, uh, the videos can appear quite generic if you don't go in and further edit or customize them. Also, as you saw when I was trying to move some of the media and some of the text, it can be a bit sticky and hard to move and adjust. Another thing I didn't find very user-friendly was those tiny little scroll bars, um, which were really hard to use with my mouse and to click on and drag down because they were so tiny in the quick edit area. So those are some things that need improving and I'm sure we'll see many more improvements very fast as the world of AI is changing so quickly, as you know. Um, so I hope you liked everything you saw here and uh, go ahead and share what you've made with uh, Pipit using this how-to guide, and don't forget to like or subscribe the video. Thanks again.